all right what's going on guys welcome back to another video in this video i will be showing you how to unlock the plague doctor outfit up in his motherfucker i hope you guys are ready um the first thing you gotta do is start out at the hospital in saint mary's this is a location you will be uh coming past during your main story uh or you could just walk there whenever i think uh talk to him and accept to do the quest field research which should give you this side case. Then uh, what I'll be doing in this video, I'll be skipping a lot to the next locations and quickly showing you what to do. So uh, let's make this a quick and easy video, shall we? Let's get to it. Go, 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 go. All right, your first location will be up in Salvation Harbor, just a little bit to the left of Old Church Road. So here you go. You will be able to fast travel to this location. Just take a quick ride in the boat. All right, when you get to this location, keep in mind that in every single one of these locations, you will be fighting monsters. Uh, on the third location, you will be fighting an extremely hard monster, so make sure you have enough ammo and enough uh, health and a few bombs and traps for him. All right, let's enter this room, clear everything out, and I will see you in the next part. All right, once you have cleared every single monster in the room, make sure it might take a bit of ammo. They will be spawning upstairs and in the basement. First thing you do is you walk up to the basement and you see shopkeeper hanging there. The suicidal note will be your first clue. Then we go up here. Then take the note which is placed right there. Once you've done that, you walk up here and you click the drugs on the counter. Then I get the blood here. And his notes. Now you have collected every single piece of evidence in this location. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Make sure, by the way, that you loot everything in this house. Because you need all the ammo and stuff you can use. Alright, see you in a second. Alright, the second location is located uh, in the same district. Still in Salvation Harbor. Um, but uh, a little bit up north on Moreland Road, you will come across, uh, you have to get there by boat, you come across this little place right here, you enter it, clear everything out, and then you get the clues and leave. Alright, once you have cleared out everything, you will, um, there will be spawning monsters downstairs and upstairs. Once you've cleared everything out, first you'll go here, you collect that one, then you press the rocking horse use your mind vision and scan after you've done that you walk a little bit back and go up then you examine that one And the final one is going here into the kitchen. Weeks have passed since this food was cooked. The slime stinks even worse than the Once you've done that, you've unlocked this one, which you go in. Then you will have this one and that one. No matter how bad I feel, I have to go to work. And the monster and the one that? down there. Which will be do. So we'll be going down all the way over here. Time to figure this out. All right. This is number one, where the monster crawls out of the floor. Number two will be the fight at the dinner table. No matter how bad I feel, and number three. Will be the consequences of the disease. John, you're... Oh, oh, what is happening to me? The beast crawled from the sunken basement at night and infected the family. After a short incubation period, they turned into monsters too. Awesome. Alright, once you've done that, guys, you will have to return to the hospital, and I will see you there. Alright. Once you get back into the hospital, just go in and talk to the doctor. You can skip through everything really quick, it's not that much. 
All right, once you're talking to the doctor, you will get a bunch of freaking rewards, which is very nice because you will need every single bit of it for the next location, which is the third. Keep in mind that when you go to this location, you will be fighting a huge monstrosity, which is uh, which are going to be required grenades and traps uh, for you to kill him. See you guys there. All right, welcome back. Let's see. The next location will be in Reed's Height, a bit uh, in the bottom south. Um, on this location on Ward Street, uh, right below Sam Reed Street. Once you go in here, uh, keep in mind there will be a huge beast waiting for you. Um, use almost everything, but keep some for uh, Phase 4. I'll see you guys in a minute when he's gone. Alright, so you did it. You killed him. That was a fucking challenge, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're damn right it was. Alright, so once you've killed him, you go around here and you grab the letters on a counter. You salmon the rags on the case. Grab that book. And scan the green ooze over there. I'll take a sample for Dr. Grant to examine. Then you go back upstairs, and you should automatically be phased into it. There you have this one, that one, and scan the one in the bottom as well. Alright. So the combination is one, two, and in the basement will be number three, and then you have completed zone number three, fucking finally. <laughs> Why'd you guys go in and tell me how many times you died? Uh, let me know in the comments. Corpses merged together to form a huge monstrosity. All right, see you guys in the next area. All right, welcome. The next location is still in Reed's height, right above Advent to the corner, right here. Um, the quickest way to get there for me was just to fast travel to Advent North and just walk up there. So when the final zone hits, you uh, are coming here into the restaurant and you will be facing a few uh, beasts. One grenade should be pretty decent to kill them all or else you just have to uh, use gunfire. Once you've killed them all, you have to get over the counter and you have to jump down. Make sure you're crouching. I will show it to you in a minute. And uh, headshot the guy there. He has a shotgun and he will one-shot you if you're not careful. Alright, once you've cleared all those monsters, you go up here. Slowly jump down. Make sure to be crouching. Get your gun ready. Aim up. Shoot this guy straight in the head as soon as he gets up. Alright, once you've cleared everything out and you got the basement key from the guy downstairs, you'll walk here to accept that. Get this one. Then you will walk behind the counter. There should be a hammer. Blood is still fresh. All right. And there should be a newspaper on a table upstairs. Right. Yeah. Don't forget to loot everything you possibly can. For your big ass reward you'll be getting after this one. All right. Then head back into the basement and also just scan everything you can find here. You have to use your vision on this one. My esteemed patrons, <laughs> presenting my latest delicacy. Ah, don't be greedy. Don't hurry to eat, please. You'll always be my most well-regarded clients. <laughs> All right, going to this room. Check the bathtub of body parts. The inspector will be pleased. Uh, these aren't your typical kitchen utensils. And there you go. 
once you've collected that, you got to get back to the hospital. That's it. So I'll see you guys in at the hospital again. Once you've gotten back to the hospital, you talk to the doctor and eventually it will give you an option to uh, inform people or inform authorities. You can pick whatever you want. doesn't matter what you pick. You'll begin the reward anyway. And after that, you will have completed the mission and then I will see you guys to end the video. Thank you. All right. So there you go. Once you finished the quest and went back to the Devil's Reef Inn and collected your new sweet looking plague doctor outfit thank you guys for watching i hope this was helpful and that you enjoyed it and then i will see you guys further in the let's play see you guys later peace